Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation where we ask the question, did you catch the five best performing stocks of April or May 2018? Well, the strategy and method I'm about to share with you today actually did. For example, one of the stocks in this survey was HEAR. And as you can see, the stock went pretty much straight up from beginning of April all the way into uh, yesterday. This chart was actually taken up until the close of yesterday. Now, with a particular method I'm going to be sharing with you today, you could have identified buy setups right here, 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 here. Okay, so there's tons of ways to actually get involved without having to overcomplicate your trading. I'm going to share with you this method. And for example, another buy setup was generated just yesterday on yesterday's close. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to generate and to identify these setups using our new educational platform. That's the PTS Primo chart, charts, which I designed with ProTrader Strategies. It was designed specifically to teach traders how to trade, but most importantly, to make it extremely simple. I'm going to show you how simple it is in today's educational presentation. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to my webinars, we give these free webinars each and every week simply to educate you. It's my opinion that the reason why most traders fail is because you're basically taking yourself out of the game. You're allowing someone or something else to make your trading decisions for you. And the reason why most traders do that is because they're not educated in the, in the fact that they don't know what to base their trades off of. They're thinking, well, someone else who's online must know better than I what to do, so I'll just copy whatever they're doing. Or someone on TV must have a better idea of what the market's going to do more than I am, so I'll just basically do whatever they say. And that's the way the majority of traders trade, myself included, when I first started trading some four decades ago. But believe me when I tell you that there is no consistency in that way of trading. In other words, if that were true, then it would be estimated that roughly 80 or 85 percent of all traders would be successful. But in all actuality, the facts are the opposite. 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail. And so when we say fail, we're not meaning that you go into a small slump or loss. We mean that you actually give away all the money you set aside for trading. And this is one of the main reasons. It's because we overcomplicate our trading and we follow and listen to what someone else or someone is telling us what to do. We've taken ourselves out of the game. So our goal at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies is to provide you with sound fundamental education and tools in which to apply that education so that you can be in the driver's seat so that you can make your own trading decisions for the very first time and be in charge of your own trading destiny. Now, I've been trading for over four decades now. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the trading floor for a total of 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist. So that's where you get the name Specialist Trading. Now, if you're not familiar with what a specialist does, it doesn't mean that you're any more special than anyone else. It simply means that if you wanted to buy or sell a stock, you had to go to the trader who specialized in making a market in that particular stocks. So I made markets in roughly 50 or 60 stocks. I was a specialist and made markets during the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. Uh, I've traded straight up down markets, straight sideways markets. I've traded just about every system, every strategy you can think of. So in my 41 years of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So there's no need to experiment and most, mostly spend your hard-earned money searching for the perfect method when I can give you the education and provide you with the tools and techniques you need in order to be in charge of your trading for the very first time. So you'll see today just how simple it is to use these methods and just how simple trading can really be once you get out of your own way. So this promises to be a great educational presentation. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we are first required before we present the webinar to share with you our disclaimer. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results, a lot of charts uh, expanding on these five uh, best performing stocks of the last month or two. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And as you're taking a moment to view our disclaimer, please remember that all these examples are strictly for educational purposes only. 
Now, I'd also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. If you haven't done so already, you may want to copy down our handle right there, abbreviation for specialist trading. I post different information on a daily basis. If you go there right now, you'll see that a stock uh, that was uh, has been generating, I, I believe, about five points gain in, in, in today's market. We actually had a buy signal uh, roughly two or three days ago in that same stock. So I posted that information, plus a lot of different information uh, on uh, just a little bit of financial wisdom along the way. Not uh, only that, but also including signals that our strategies have generated. So lots of great free information. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Okay, so as I stated in the very beginning, we are first and foremost an educational company. We not only uh, you know, teach you all this uh, information, our strategies do generate buy and sell signals, but they're there simply for educational purposes only so that you can back check your work. Our goal is to teach you and mentor you enough so that you know what to look for, so that you can automatically spot a buyer sell signal based on the strategy's rules on your own. But we do provide you with that information, but we're different from other uh, webinars and other companies in the fact that we're not trying to force feed you signals on what to do. We're not trying to tell you what to buy. We're not trying to tell you what to sell. Our goal is simply to teach you, not to trade for you, but to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. This was the same edge that was taught to me some 41 years ago and what I truly believe has been able to sustain me now for over four decades. Hopefully, it will be able to do the same for you, okay? So, since this is going to be conducted like a class, if you're new to my webinars, I love to take your questions, but please hold off till the very end. This won't be a real long webinar, and pro probably in the next 25 or 30 minutes, we'll stop uh, and, and reserve the last portion to answer any questions that you may have. I will only answer the most common question right now, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you're having technical difficulties, or if you have to leave early, don't worry, we will send you a link to this recording. If you are having some technical issues, don't worry. Many times, if you log off and log back on again, your problems will be resolved. It's mainly due to your uh, internet connection. But still, if you're ha still having difficulty seeing or hearing the, the screen, uh, don't worry, we will send you a link, okay? So we have a good crowd here today, so we don't wanna stop for every slide to answer a question. You'll be here two or three hours, we don't wanna do that. So please wait till the very end to ask any questions. All right, so let's begin. Now, this past week, Zacks, that's the investment research company, came out with a uh, statistic on the five star performers for April, May 2018. And these were the parameters in which the uh, research company came up with to, to come up with these five stocks. Number one is that the percentage price change over the last four weeks must be greater than or equal to 20%. Okay. Secondly, the forward price to earnings ratio or the PE for the current financial year F1 less than or equal to 20. Now this picks out stocks that are good value choices. The third parameter was expected earnings growth for the current financial year should be greater than or equal to 20%. And then lastly, the fourth parameter was a Zacks rank less than or equal to two. This is, I believe, is their proprietary uh, Zacks ranking. This ascertains stocks that have shown above average returns over the last 26 years. So these were the four parameters, the four rules they needed to, in order to qualify for star performers. And we picked the top five, the five star performers, going from this last couple of months here. Now, May is just ending today, so the charts I'm going to be sharing with you are up until yesterday's close, okay, from April to May of this year, 2018. Now, let's look at the stocks that they actually picked. These are the five star performers according to Zach's research for April, May, 2018. Now the first one is H-E-A-R, that's Turtle Beach Corporation. It's an audio technology company. And as we look at the chart, we see here that we had a very nice upward move and it started to slowly get a little bit stronger until roughly in the second week of May, it just, the stock really took off and it's gone straight up and it's basically consolidating right now, okay? But a nice stock to get involved in in early April. The second stock on their list was WRD, which is Wild Horse Resource Development Corporation. It's an oil and natural gas company. As we look here, now this stock really took off in the very beginning of April, but it's had some difficulty as of late. It's kind of in a holding pattern, but it's had a, a, a fairly strong sell-off or pullback, and it looks as if it's trying to decide whether it should go back up or go to lower levels. That's the second stock in their list. 
The third stock was CVRR, that's a CVR refining, and that's engaged in refining of uh, petroleum, uh, primarily in the US. So we see this stock, a, a refining company, has basically been going straight up since the very beginning of April and continues to go higher. This was chart was taken up until roughly yesterday. The fourth stock was Nine, N-I-N-E, and that stands for uh, Nine Energy Services. It provides onshore uh, completion and production services um, around the world. So as you can see, this stock is kind of a sideways. It had a nice up move from the middle of April to the middle of May, went basically sideways and then started to go up again. And as of the last week has started to sell off. Now, once again, I believe it's probably trying to decide whether it should go higher or whether it's gonna continue to make lower lows. And then the last stock in this five-star performers group was FFKT, which is Farmers Capital Bank Incorporation. It's a bank holding company. All right, so you see there's a lot of different diversified group here, but this stock during the month of first part of April was kind of going higher to sideways. And then yeah, there's some news event or something came out where the stock took off and has continued to go higher and higher. Now remember, these were the five-star performers for this past couple of months based on these parameters. Now, let me tell you something going back to my history. When I first started trading, I used to follow parameters such as these. I used to follow parameters not only for fundamental news, but also for tech technical information as well. And there were a lot of rules, a lot of requirements that needed to be met, a lot of research, and a lot of uh, more subjective ways of looking at the market. Now, trust me, this may seem easy, but it's actually a little complicated. And most of the time when you look at information, my experience anyway, by the time you process all of this information and discern what it means and get all the information and go and do your research, most of the move has most likely already happened. And then many times you can throw in some other ideas that you may have and say, well, this doesn't fit my parameters. And so you'll discard it. And that may be the stock that goes up. So it's rather complicated. You know, it's not simple. And why is it complicated? It's because we make it complicated. It's because we overcomplicate things. Why? Because we've always been taught that the more complicated a method or a strategy is, the more valid it will be, the more consistent and the more profitable it will be, myself included. I, I thought that right off the bat, that the more rules, the more restrictions, the more requirements, that method, it must be really valid, right? because I'm looking at a lot of parameters, I'm looking at a lot of different instances that will make it more valid. But in all actuality, it's the opposite. It's taken me a long time, but with the luck of my mentors, I finally realized that it's actually the opposite. It's the things that are the simplest that are actually uh, the things that will hold the most validity to them. For example, this is one of the things that my mentors first taught me. They said, Steve, it is the easiest thing in the world, the easiest thing in the world to overcomplicate your trading. Virtually anyone can do that. And think about it. It doesn't matter if you've been trading 30 years or 30 minutes. Anyone, virtually anyone can pile more things onto your trading plan. All right. You can put more indicators on. You can look at more fundamental issues and more fundamental things to look at. You can diversify. You can just overcomplicate your trading. Take it from someone who's been there. This is why my mentors told me this, because that's the way my trading was. If you had seen my screens and the way I traded 41 years ago, you wouldn't have believed it because I had so many conditions that needed to be met, so many requirements, both fundamental and technical. It was uh, you know, uh, unbelievable that I ever got a trade off because everything had to line up perfectly, all right? So they said, it's the easiest thing in the world. It doesn't matter how long you've been trading or how much you know, you can pile more and more things onto your trading plan. It's very simple to do, but it's the most difficult thing in the world to simplify your trading. And that takes real character. And by character, they mean courage because we've all been taught that this is what you need in order to succeed. You need to know fundamentally about the earnings. You need to know about the PE ratio. You need to know about uh, the rankings. You need to know about uh, CEOs of the company or the direction where they're going. That's all we've been taught. You need to know about 10 or 20 different indicators that all have to line up. It takes courage to let go of those things. Take it from someone who didn't believe it. When my traders, uh, that my mentors first taught me about this, about trading, I said, well, okay, sounds good, but there's no way I'm, I'm letting go of all these things. I've always been taught to look at this stuff. But after, you know, months and months of not seeing much progress, I finally had the courage to let go. And that's when my trading started to become consistent.
I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that's when you'll become a millionaire or that's when you can retire. There's still a lot of hard work and a lot of research and a lot of learning how to become a part of the process that goes into this. But the main thing is in letting go of things that are not consistent. There is so much in the trading world that's taught to us that simply isn't real. It holds no consistency. Sure, it'll work every once in a while, but over time, ask yourself, how well are these things really working for you? How well is your trading account expanding? And how much more money do you have in your account? Most of the time, it's not doing very well. And I know this from firsthand experience. So if you have the courage, the character to let go of these things, that's when you'll see your trading start to become more and more consistent. Let me show you in just a few methods right now how much more consistent you can be by simplifying your trading as opposed to overcomplicating it. All right. Now I'm going to show you some methods right now as well as a strategy. But please remember that these are based off consistency. Once again, we're not going to sit here and tell you that everything works 100 percent of the time. In fact, I will show you a couple of instances where it didn't work out well. There were a few minor losses. That's OK. What we're looking for is consistency and simplicity. That's what's going to turn your trading around. All right, so let's look at the first method here. This first method is extremely simple, and we're only going to focus on these five stocks. Okay, let's say we it was the beginning of April. All right, it's the beginning of April, two months ago, and you hadn't got this report yet about what the best five stocks are. And by the way, this is after the fact that these stocks took off. We didn't even know that these stocks were going to take off yet. So let's say it's the beginning of April, and these are the five stocks you're going to be focusing on prior to any reports, prior to any news, fundamental news, prior to any price earnings ratios, any of them. What we're going to be doing is applying the PET D. You've heard me speak about this before. This is probably one of our most powerful trading tools we have. It's a proprietary directional tool. It tells us the direction of what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. It doesn't predict how high or how low a market will go. It doesn't predict tops or bottoms. It just simply tells you at the moment whether the market wants to go up or down. And the way we've taken the hard work out of this for you is because it is a proprietary tool, we simply made it into a color bar algorithm. Let me show you what I mean here. We've seen this example before with Aetna is going straight up. Most people would say, well, you know, you didn't know it was going in an uptrend until halfway through. So this is where we finally figured out it was in an uptrend. So maybe you decide to buy and then it switches directions. Once we apply the pet D, it changes the colors of the bars, either green or red. Green meaning you're in a short-term uptrend, red meaning you're a short-term downtrend. You see, the PET D is a translator. Once again, it's not telling you where the top or the bottom is. It's simply telling you at the moment what the market wants to do. It translates for us. So the beauty of the PET D, as you see here, is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And once you know that, you can virtually apply any method to that direction. So we want to apply the PET D and here's our method. Here's the structure. We're going to buy on bars that are colored green by the PET D and also close in the bottom 25% of their range. All right. So what does that mean? The bottom 25% of the range? Well, if you have a bar like this, it's colored green by the PET D. And as you can see, this is a down day. We opened here on this uh, candlestick chart and closed down here. Now, you could do this with any bar chart. We're just showing you a candlestick chart. But we opened here and closed lower. The bar is green and we closed in the bottom quarter of its range. If you divided the bar by four, if you close in the bottom 25 percent, that's the setup we're looking for. Someone would say, oh, I don't understand this. Why? What, what's the purpose of all this? Well, remember, if the pet D is coloring the bar green, it's telling you it wants to go higher. If the actual bar closes in the bottom quarter of its range, that's a great buying opportunity, right? That's like buying on sale. That's like buying a, a car that's been cut slashed, you know, 50, 60, 70 percent of its value. And you can pick it up at a low price because it's almost, uh, you know, uh, like saying you're picking it up low because you feel the price of the car is going to go higher again. It's the same way with this one bar. All right. The pet D is telling us the market wants to go higher. Well, you're getting a nice sale price here by being able to purchase at a lower level. OK. And that's it. Is this dependent on what the earnings are doing? No. Is it depending on, uh, on what the stock has been doing in the last 20 years? No. Is it dependent on uh, what some guy saying on a trading or a chat room? No. 
The only thing we're looking at and listening to is the chart in front of us. That's the source of our trading. That's the only thing we should be focused on, and that's what will make your trading simple. The trouble is we've never been taught to focus on this. We've always been taught to look at these outside sources, earnings, tons of technical indicators, support and resistance, volume, uh, you know, Fibonacci lines, and there's no consistency to that. Why don't we just listen to what the market's telling us and then jump on board? Okay, so let's look at the first stock here in the five group, H-E-A-R. Obviously, the stock started to go up and then really took off. So what's the first thing we're going to do in our method here? Or we want the pet D, all right? Let me show you how simple it is using our new platform. Once you have the platform here, you go up to the green strategy tab and click on pet D. And it automatically changes the colors according to what the pet D is translating. Now, as you can see here, all the bars are green. Some of the days were up, some of the days were down. Makes no difference. What is the color? The color is green. So whether it was an up day or a down day, What's the market? What's HER telling us? It's telling us it wants to go higher. Now, we knew actually before April, all these bars were green. We had consecutive green bars. We knew well before we did the research, well before all that information had to be discerned and come out and all the requirements had to be met. All we knew was that the market says it wants to go higher. Who am I to argue with it? I'm going to look for these setups. You don't have to overcomplicate things by coming up with all these requirements based on outside uh, peripheral uh, information to discern if it's okay. I mean, by that time, it's probably too late. All you have to do is apply the PET-D and then look for bars that closed in the bottom quarter, like right here, the second week of April. You think you would have liked, liked to have bought H-E-A-R uh, -E right here? Four different bars closing at the very bottom. Now, most people would say, well, that's a bad sign here. When a bar closes in the bottom 25%, that's telling you it wants to go lower. Well, yes, if you're in a downtrend, if the market wants to go lower, sure. But the market's telling you it wants to go higher. So these are buying opportunities. These are small little sell-offs that you like to take advantage of. And if you hadn't taken advantage of those, look at all the different buy opportunities, the market you're trading. Not some guy in a chat room, not some guy in TV, but the market is giving you these opportunities and giving you chances to buy. In fact, there was just a couple in the last week, okay? So there's no need to overcomplicate your trading with this one example. Now, does this work like this each and every time? No, I'm gonna show you examples of where it doesn't work all the time. You may have small minor losses, but remember, it's about consistency. What is consistency? Two steps forward, one step back. Consistency is what will sustain you, not some fly-by-night system that generates thousands of percent and promises the world, because every system I've ever traded did that same thing. It went through 10, 20 years of research and backtesting and had phenomenal results. And every one of those systems I traded and even taught eventually blew up <coughs> and lost everything. Excuse me. So those won't sustain you. What will sustain you is focusing on the market and having a two-step forward, one-step back approach. Let's look at the next example here, WRD. Okay, what do we do? First thing we do is we want to listen to the market. What's the market telling us? Did it want to go higher or lower? Now, it's easy to see that it wanted to go higher, but what about back here? Was it telling us it wanted to go higher or lower? Well, all we do is click on the PET D and it automatically changes the colors. And yes, once again, it was telling us in March, it wanted to go higher. All the bars were green. So now that we know it wants to go higher, we simply have to look for bars that close in the bottom 25%. Well, there was one the very first week of April. You could have purchased this down here, roughly about the 17 and a half, $18 level. There's another one, mid-April. Another one right here. Now, this one most likely would have been a loss, but guess what? This was after you had made all of this profit, okay? It most likely you would have had a loss here, but let's see. The last week, we've generated another buy setup. So you could have gotten out of this one with a small loss, depending on where you want to get out and enter it again. Here's another example of CVRR, the third stock in the list of five top performers. Now, this stock pretty much has gone straight up since the beginning of April. Now, you probably would have figured out at this point that this was going to be on the top five. This stock is just outperforming everything. 
Could we have known in advance, let's say back here? Well, we click on the pet D and sure thing, the very first week of April, we had consecutive bars closing green. Now the rule of thumb is you wanna see anywhere from three to five bars of the same color that will tell you that that's the trend. So we had roughly three to five bars here in the first week of April. All right, so once that we have that under our belt, we know that the market's telling us it wants to go higher. Remember the market's telling us, not some guy in a chat room, not some convoluted indicator that's supposed to predict the tops or bottoms, just the market, what's it translating? It says it wants to go higher, okay? If that means it wants to go higher, I wanna look for these sales. I wanna look for these low prices. Those are the bars that close in the bottom 25% of their range. Guess what? There was one right there in the first or second week of April. Another one and kind of a, a double one right here, more right here. And the last one just last week. So even though CVRR has been going higher and higher each and every week, we had buy signals posted all along the way. There's no need to overcomplicate your trading and wait for an outside source to tell you what to do. Nine, N-I-N-E, same thing. This stock had a nice run up and then went sideways and then has run up again and has started to peter out. So what should we be doing? Well, let's listen to the market. As we apply the pet D, we see here that we turned green and there was two buy signals right here. Now, here's one thing I want to mention. These two bars that closed in the bottom 25% actually closed up on the day. So it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, well, I'll just look for the first uh, <clears throat> bar that closes towards the bottom of its range. No, because many times you'll close in the bottom 25% and it'll still be up on the day. So you need the pet D to let you know whether that is a valid setup or not. But coming into the first week of April, you had two bars that closed in the bottom 25%, even though they both closed up. And then you had a cluster, one here followed that, but a cluster right here, another one here, another one here, and two more right here coming into May. So at some point, someone would have said, well, this is major, major resistance right here. This is where all the institutions are selling. You got to get out of this stock. It's had a, too big of a run up and the earnings are not estimated to be that good. And I don't like the volume here. You see how this is the way most people, myself included, used to make decisions on what to do rather than actually listening to the stock. What's the translator telling us? It's telling us that all the bars are green. It wants to go higher. So therefore, all we have to do is look for these bars that close in the bottom 25% as buy setups. And look what happened. Middle of May, it went up. Now, as we've started to come down lower, this is where people may be saying, well, now you got to get out, right, Steve? Because now it's really topped out. Well, until we change colors and we have three to five consecutive red bars, we're still looking for buy setups here and here. Now here's FFKT, the last in the series of five. This was kind of going slightly higher to sideways and then it took off, exploded with this gap to the upside. Rather than waiting for some news event or something to tell us what to do, is there any way the market could have told us? Sure, we apply the pet D and we knew well in advance we had a series of three to five green bars here that were going long. And guess what? Well before, <clears throat> excuse me, that gap up, we had one, two, three different opportunities to go long. So this is what we mean by not waiting for news or not waiting for estimates or not waiting for things like that because many times the market tells you in advance what it wants to do. So we've all been taught to listen to someone because they must know what they're doing. But once you're in charge of your own trading, that's where you really get this feeling of accomplishment that you're doing this on your own. <clears throat> Now, let's say you had waited and you did miss this big move. Well, not to worry. There's still buy setups all the way up. In fact, coming into yesterday, there was actually a buy setup on the close. So we'll see what happens there. We're not going to promise that that's going to be a, a, a profit or a success, but we're just telling you what the market wants to do at that moment. I don't know. A lot of people would say, well, Steve, where do I get out? Where do I place my stop? Okay, do, do I keep adding more to the position? Remember, we're saying method here because a method is just a piece of the puzzle. A method basically is like a technique in that it just shares with you these high probability entry points. We didn't talk about exactly where to enter. We didn't talk about stop placement. That's something you would have to decide. And if you've been trading for a while, you would know where you want to place a stop or how much you'd be willing to risk. 
and you know if there was a big gap up, you'd be willing to get out. <clears throat> but now let's add a little bit more structure with our second, and that's an actual strategy. A strategy is different in that it does give you the complete set of rules. It tells you exactly where to enter. It tells you exactly where to place your stop. It gives you different variables for exit points. And money management is also in the strategy. So this is entirely different from just showing you a high probability setup. This is strategy number five. And let me share with you some of the highlights of this particular strategy. It's a pattern recognition strategy. It is not based at all on what I just shared with you. It's completely different parameters. It's designed to trade strong trending markets. Okay, now it's intensity level. If one were the most intense of all strategies where you virtually could not leave your computer to go to the restroom, and three was the most relaxed where you enter an order in the beginning of the day and just walk away, it's a very moderate number two. Okay, so it's a relaxed type of intensity level strategy. The beauty of strategy five is that you can apply it to any time frame, any market, or any direction. So if you say, well, Steve, you're showing stocks here, but I day trade the, the e-mini futures, or I trade Bitcoin, or I trade commodities or currency pairs, it can be applied to those as well. And you say, well, Steve, I day trade. I look at tick charts. So what? It can be applied to that. All right? It can be applied to anything. You just have to exercise proper money management. And you have to, you know, know the rules and uh, be a part of the process. And you can apply this to anything. But once again, our edge is consistency. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that every trade works. It's not about that. Remember, having a fly-by-night system will not sustain you. It will maybe give you a great month or a great year at the most. But over time, you'll most likely blow up. The only thing that sustains you is a consistent method, something that has a two-step forward, one-step back process and that's what we try to initiate with all of our methods okay so let me go over the exact same stocks we're not going to look at the method we talked about entirely different parameters and I, I'm sorry I cannot divulge what the rules of strategy five are but let me just share with you some of the setups and signals that were generated once again we start out with HEAR okay three buy setups in the stock prior to the stock even taking off and these setups were in mid to late April. Had you taken the very first ones, that would have given you potentially 15 points to work with. All right, what about Word, WRD, okay? Well, guess what? Only one buy signal, but at the very first week of April, prior to the market even taking off, 11 points, okay, that you had potentially to work with. Remember, the exit points are included in the strategy but I can't divulge where you would exit. And plus, it's up to you to decide. Remember, we do not trade for you. We give you different uh, levels and different variables for exiting. Somebody may want to trade strategy five and say, I took a point or two and I'm out. I said, thank you very much. Someone may say, I'm going for 10 points plus. It's up to you. You are in charge of your trading, not us. We're not going to trade for you. CVRR, the stock pretty much went straight up. Well, guess what? You've had buy signals all along the way from the very beginning before it took off to midpoint to actually last week. Another buy signal was generated. How about nine? This stock is a little bit more choppier. Well, you had a buy signal the last week of March. I added that one in just to show you that you would have been in ahead of this. But had you missed that, guess what? The first week of April, there's another buy setup and then two during this sideways action. And then lastly, FFKT, could we have taken advantage of this prior to that big up move? Guess what? The day before that was either some announcement or something came out, a buy signal was generated. Someone would say, well, how did you know? Is this based off fundamental news? Did you guys research the earnings or maybe you knew about the announcement prior? What do we listen to? We don't listen to any of that information. We only listen to what the market is telling us. And that's what we teach you in our courses. Now, not to worry. Had you missed that big up move, don't worry. There were still uh, signals to go along generated all along the way up that you could have taken advantage of. Now, I know a lot of you will say, well, Steve, this is great, but I don't trade. You know, I'm not a day trader. Or I don't even look at daily bars. I'm an investor. Do these things work? I see, sure, if you have up and down bars or strategy five, but how about longer term time frame? All right. Now, not all of these weekly bars for the five stocks we've been looking at generated signals, but some of them did. In fact, WRD, if we look at going back to the beginning of the year in January, these are all weekly bars. There was a buy signal generated mid to end of March to go along using strategy number five. 
Same thing in CVRR, these are weekly charts. The stock was actually coming lower and then just in the beginning of April started to go higher, all right? Anyway, strategy number five could have taken advantage on a longer term time frame. Sure thing, a buy signal beginning of March, buy signal beginning of April, okay? How about FFKT on a weekly time frame? This was kind of going basically sideways to nowhere and then it started to go up in beginning of March. Well, strategy number five generated on March 5th, a buy signal the week ending March 5th and then it's 15 points you could have taken advantage of. So as I stated, it makes no difference what direction, what time frame, and it makes no difference what market as well. So before we go to questions and answers, let's recap. Remember, we talked about the five best performing stocks of April to May 2018, as they were uh, determined through Zach's research investment uh, research company. Now remember, by the time they come up with this research, it was most likely after the fact that big gains had already uh, concluded and you would have sat there and said, well, boy, I wish I would have known this in advance because, um, you know, it would have been nice to know that before the fact that these were going to be the big gainers, uh, the best performing stocks of the last couple of months. But we showed you two techniques. One was a method and we showed you another one where you could have known prior to all of this. The first method was the pet D with the bar closing in the bottom 25 percent. The pet D translates what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. You're looking for those bars that are colored green that close in the lower portion of their range. Why? Because those are sales. Those are low cost pickups so you can purchase the price at a lower price while the market wants to go higher. The second method was actually a proprietary strategy number five. It has a whole set of rules that once again, we can't divulge, but it's a pattern recognition strategy that is designed to trade these large trendy market so if you miss the big move while we're trending you can still get in and we teach you all the rules and everything in the course and lastly we can apply both of these things to weekly time frames okay we showed you mainly strategy number five setups in weekly time frames but it doesn't matter which market which direction and or which time frame remember as my mentors taught me it is the easiest thing in the world to overcomplicate your trading Anyone can do that. It doesn't take a lot of wherewithal to put one more piece of the puzzle on your trading plan. It doesn't really take a lot of character to do that, but it takes a lot of character to simplify your trading. That is the most difficult thing in the world because we're afraid to let go. We've all been taught that these things are supposed to work. This is what we're taught from day one is that you have to look at what the company does. You have to look at the earnings. You have to look at the, the ratios. But trust me, once you let go, you're in for the ride of your life because your trading will be so simple and you'll for the first time feel in charge of your own trading destiny. But you've got to simplify it first. So here's our special discount, our offer for all of you. And thank you for attending today. We're going to offer you what we call our candlestick combo. That is strategy number five, along with the pet D. You're going to get instant course access you get detailed instruction. These are 20 online videos, okay? You'll get ex entries, ex exits, and stop placement for all the strategies and all the different techniques included. You'll get educational signal alerts. So if you uh, want to see those up and down arrows or the uh, automatic uh, uh, coloring of the bars, that's all included with that. This also comes with four separate and different pet D trading techniques. Now, I just shared with you one trading technique. We're going to give you four more. These are different techniques. They're not full felt strategies, but they're different techniques for actually trading with the Pat D. And finally, mentoring correspondence, all right? You'll be able to email me whenever you'd like. Any question you may have, I'll be there to answer any question as well. But this class and this course goes for $14.95 plus $97 a month. This is a great, great offer because the, the course usually costs close to $3,000. But if you want to purchase it without the lease, you can purchase it for $3,000, but we made it simple for you by dropping it down for a one-time fee of $14.95 plus $97 per month. But we're not gonna just stop there. We're gonna also offer you our platform. That's the PTS Primo Charting Platform. We're gonna give you six months. Now this will cost $590 normally, but we're not gonna charge you anything. In fact, we're gonna throw in six months for free. So if you sign up now with either deal, either with paying in full the $29.95 or by taking the payment plan of $14.95 and $97 a month, don't worry, you're still getting six months free of 
the platform. Now, anything we offer you in our courses can be done on a different platform. You can still apply and get the up and down arrows and the pet D uh, on TradeStation, on MetaStock, on uh, you know uh, NinjaTrader, a number of, of uh, very prominent MT4 different uh, different platforms. But it is so simple on our platform. And let me show you what else is offered in this. Obviously, we're including Strategy 5, the Pet D directional tool. We're including our top bottom 25% feature, which automatically will show you the bars that close in the top or bottom 25%. You're getting our proprietary buy sell line. This automatically tells you the overall trend, where the Pet D tells you the short term trend. This tells you the overall trend of any market in an instant. It comes with over 90 technical indicators that you could experiment with. We also are throwing in free Bloomberg TV. We have a media page icon where all you have to do is click that on and a window will appear with free live Bloomberg TV. So if you want to listen to Fundamental News, it's right there for you. And included is personalized tech support. If for any reason you have difficulty with charts or with the media page, we will be there to answer and resolve all the issues. But we are still not stopping there. We're throwing in as a bonus our scanner. All right. This is going to make things trading so simple for you because all you have to do is click on strategy five in the upper green strategy tab, okay? And it will automatically have a drop down menu, just click on scan. And in probably about less than 90 seconds, you'll be able to scan for the major markets, any uh, list you're interested in from ETFs, currency pairs, uh, futures, uh, top stocks, uh, even Bitcoin, and it will generate signals. The green bars generate buy signals, the red bar sell signals. Now let's say you had taken advantage of this offer and I had presented this webinar a month ago. Well, you would have gone to the nightly scan and seen that on the 25th of April, a buy signal was generated for strategy number five. Okay, now we looked at this and this was in uh, Tiffany. Okay, and looking at this and as it went forward into this past week, you would say, well, not much has happened in this stock. How can I have bought this? You know, I'm looking at the old scan here and there's no reason I ever should have bought this. But using the methods and the techniques we share with you today, you could have clicked on the pet D, which you will also have in this offer. And look at the majority of the bars. They're colored green. Remember, if you see three to five bars of a different color, that will tell you the trend change. But there are only little splashes, one red here, another one red here. That's not enough to tell you we're in a downtrend. And if we wanted to use the first method that we had talked about, well, you see here that there were buy signals all along the way on bars that closed in the bottom 25%. Now we could also use our Pet D and the Strategy 5, uh, our candlestick combination to confirm just the one alone buy signal. Be that as it may, there were nothing but buy setups being generated using these techniques, even though for the last month, Tiffany has really done nothing. But just last week, well, the stock soared 28 points. Now, obviously, some news came out. I believe it was about its earnings or the money it was making across, uh, uh, you know, the country. Did we know this? Do we research the company? Absolutely not. But the stock was telling us weeks in advance that you should buy me. Remember, the market is always telling you what it wants to do. Your job is to listen, learn how to listen to the market, and then jump on board. We teach you how to do that. Most especially, our platform teaches you how to do that. So trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. So once again, take advantage of this. You're going to get our attendee discount of a small fee of $14.95 plus $97 per month. That's with the uh, payment plan plus the six months Primo charge, PTS Primo charge for free. Or if you're just interested with no leasing of it, you can purchase it one uh, fee of $29.95. So here's how to take advantage of this great, great offer. We just showed you the top five stocks as according to Zach's investment research. Well, guess what? We had buy signals way before those any of those stocks took off using strategy number five. So contact my sister site, Pro Trader Strategies. They handle all of our marketing with the platform as well as our courses and discounts as well. You can email them, but I would suggest the best thing to do would be to call them at 310-598-66. 77. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now, and they can work with you on this payment plan and, uh, you know, devise something to meet your needs so that you can come in with a smaller lump sum and then you can be up and running with a payment plan. Okay. So 
the link you see at the very bottom is the link that would take you to the sign up page and more information on our candlestick combos. You can go there for more information. It's not a live link, but a live link has been posted in the chat box on the far right hand corner. So you can click that on, it will automatically take you there. So I'm gonna leave this information up here as I answer your questions. I wanna say thank you for uh, holding off on asking any questions and I'll answer them. It says, one uh, first question here is thank you. It says, when I add money flow, I don't get positive uh, money flow when price is going up. How can that be? Well, first of all, when you say money flow, uh, we don't look at money flow. So I, it's something I wouldn't even concern myself with. Well, money flow is something I looked at some 30 or 40 years ago, and it didn't make any sense to me then. So I don't understand why I would be looking at it now. We're not the... the uh, Pet D is not based on money flow. It's based on a calculation of a proprietary formula that looks at a tick by tick basis of whatever you're trading. And then it comes up with its calculation. And through high speed computers and programmers, we've turned it into a color bar algorithm. It's not based on money flow. And all it does is it turns the bars either green or red. A green bar means the short term trend is up. A red bar means the short term trend is down. If you see a confluence of green bars, you want to be a buyer. It's that simple. Now, don't all overcomplicate your trading. Just based off your question, I see that this is what we're talking about. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to figure out why this doesn't work and why this doesn't make sense. And this is what happens when you base your trading off of inconsistencies, such as money flow. Base your trading off of what the market is telling you, off of the chart in front of you, whether it's a tick chart of the E-mini futures or a monthly chart of gold. It makes no difference. The pet D will discern whether it's in a short-term uptrend or a short-term downtrend. Then just act accordingly. It's that simple. That's our only job as traders. Listen to the market, find out what it wants to do, and jump on board. Remember I said, it's the easiest thing in the world to overcomplicate your trading, looking at indicators and things that really show no consistency. But it's the most difficult thing to let go. So let go of those things and simplify your trading, and you'll see consistency, okay? Uh, other people are saying, well, uh, after six months, will I be charged for the pet D? Well, yes, there is a nominal fee. I believe it's less, it's like $97 per month, and uh, but it'll be your choice. We feel strongly that after six months usage of the platform and all the other features that are involved, you'll be so happy with it. You'll want to continue, okay? It's a great, great offer. And six months, half a year using things that have taken me nearly 40 years to accumulate, that's a great offer. So uh, lots of great knowledge and education in there that I've been using for four decades now on my personal trading as well, okay? Now strategy five, people are asking about the strategy five, remember, is different from the method. Those are based on entirely different parameters. The parameters of the method, the first method, were simply to wait for all the bars to be green and to look for bars that close in the bottom 25%. Strategy number five has entirely different parameters. They're not even looking at those same things, okay? They're just looking at a pattern, a specific pattern, and then we apply structure in, in the terms of entry or exit or stop placement. And we give you different variables, so you can decide for yourself where you'd want to apply each and every one to meet your needs. In other words, some traders are very aggressive, and they want to be in and out of a lot of trades, so we show you how to do that. Other traders are still very conservative and they want to have a tight stop and they want to get as much bang for their buck on the trade. That's great. We show you how to do that. Still, other traders like to make sure that they have a good risk reward ratio. We show you how to do that. Now, is there one that's better than the other? No. The only wrong way to trade is when you try to copy or mimic someone else the way people do in chat rooms or trading rooms. That's a recipe for a disaster. What we want to do is supply you with the information and work with you and mentor you so that you can decide. You can say, you know what? I like to get in and out quickly. Great. There's nothing wrong with it. Then that's the way you should be trading. Someone else would say, well, you know what? I like to really stay in trades as long as possible. Great. There's nothing wrong with that. Then that's the way you should be trading. But you shouldn't be trading the way someone else does. That's a recipe for a disaster. Take it from someone who's tried it. Take it from someone who has seen it over the years. It doesn't work. So that's why we don't believe in chat rooms or trading rooms, because we want you to decide how to trade. We don't want you to turn those into a crutch and think that it should be this way. OK, so those are good questions. I really hope this answers it for you. 
basically, as we close here, we always try to share with you and give you some knowledge. I hope the knowledge I share with you today will help you. But if you really want to get back on board with your trading, if you really want to uh, turn your trading around and become consistent, I strongly suggest you take advantage of this great offer. If at the very least, contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's no uh, obligation. You can talk to one of them. You can ask them questions, and then you can make uh, uh, an, uh, you know, a better uh, informed, uh, qualified decision on your own, thinking about it for the next couple of days, okay? Best thing to do would be to call 310-598-6677. There are trading consultants manning the phones. They'd be happy to answer any question you may have. Absolutely no obligation, okay? In conclusion, I want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for taking time out of your Wednesday afternoon. I wish you all great success, but most importantly, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine and members of the PTS Primo Charting Platform and Strategy Number 5, Pet D Combo. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.